professional football. We all love professional football, yeah. don't we? <laughs> we love the American Football Conference. We love the National Football Conference, and we love the Southeast Conference because <laughs> that's professional football. What do you mean, Rich? Wait a minute. That's college football. What are you talking about? <laughs> Out of the, the sport we call collegiate football but really is professional football, latest indication that I am not just trying to stir it up and be cynical. Kirby Smart. I've heard of him, right? You heard of him? Oh, I've heard of him. He is the head coach of your defending national champion, Georgia Bulldogs. He is uh, the latest uh, Nick Saban acolyte, former assistant to go elsewhere and try his hand at things and uh, succeed. Kirby Smart has been rewarded for that success. Yep. All those Georgia Bulldogs who left to go to the National Football League and lit up the NFL draft. Well, guess what? You got yourself a uh, you got yourself a, a head coach who's paid like a professional football head coach, <laughs> according to all reports. New ten-year deal. Woo! New ten-year deal worth one hundred and eleven million dollars. <laughs> You know what? And we appreciate that as does, as does, as does probably all, all the, uh, the uh, uh, collegiate athletes there who might not be uh, uh, taking math classes. Oh, my That's God. That's $11 million a year. That's not bad. That's definitely more than some NFL head coaches. That's for sure. $11 million bucks a year. So, Kirby, smart. I will just say this. I, have we, I don't know if we've had him on. Have we, we had have him not. on? Uh, we have not. I don't want to hear ever. Out of his mouth, a single. I don't think he's made one yet either. Who knows? At some point, may happen. I don't know. I'm just front loading it. We cannot hear out of his mouth ever again anything about players and the NIL and transfer portals and all that stuff. I am sorry. I, I, we can't. That would be the first. I've never really heard him. I know that. I'm just saying. That. I'm just front loading it. Yeah. I'm just front loading it. Can't hear it. Can't have it. Won't have it. Yeah, went with him, <laughs> and um, because this is this is this is it. This is where we are. Head coaches in college football paid better than professional football head coaches in the National Football League, and it's all coming. It is all coming. What's the it? Professionalism to the collegiate level. The Division One Council, according to Nicole Auerbach of the Athletic recommending that the NCAA get rid of the one-time part of its transfer rule. What does that mean? Anyone would be able to transfer and have immediate eligibility if they meet academic standards. Provost is standing right there, making sure your, your grades are ready. Okay. You imagine some kid who is incredibly talented says, I want to transfer from this school to that school, and that school's provost says, yeah, we, we can't get the kid in academically. <laughs> it happens today, and I guess it'll happen here, if they meet academic standards. Otherwise, athletes could transfer multiple times and play right away. According to Nicole, this coupled with transfer windows would allow athletes to compete right away at their new school as long as they have academic eligibility, provide notification of the intention to transfer during the transfer window. And it would be an increased burden on the schools that accept transfers. The school would be required to provide financial aid to the student athlete through the completion of the student's five-year period of eligibility or undergraduate graduation, meaning they'll have to pay for their education. Right? There's no scholarship, right, to a transfer student, I guess? I don't know. It's all coming. That's, that's, and that's, if you will, um, that's more open than any free agency that you see in the NFL. Yeah, you know what? I don't like it here. I'm, I'm too buried on the depth chart. I got to get, I, I'm out of here. Well, how many college football head coaches can say I'm out of here on their contract and just go and wind up somewhere else and start dancing in uh, in in uh, recruiting videos for kids who don't come and be part of your family. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So coaches and athletic directors and schools might not like this. Why? Because a kid can just up and leave 
go out. You don't get any compensation for it. You give the kid a scholarship. He takes a spot. He doesn't like the spot. He wants to go to a different spot, leaving you with no, uh, uh, no spot. What's a way around that? What will be a right way around that? What will be a way around that? Contracts. Sign it. You are with us for three years. You won't be able to transfer until year three. Two plus one. I mean, it's con- contracts, unions, I'm telling you. And the way it happens is uh, they're just going to form their own leagues. So, Pete Fammel is going to join us to talk about exactly this in about 20 minutes' time. 20 minutes' time. Coaches being paid like professional football coaches. Players are going to be able to transfer. <laughs> just what a, out. Don't like it? See you? Coach, play me. If you don't play me, I'm out. I'm going somewhere else. And then suddenly a kid leaves and starts transferring two, three times. What happens then? Does the next school take him? Man, oh man, oh man. And the NCAA is the one that's going to be running this. Get out of here. They're not going to have any handle on this at all. No. What a holy hell of a mess this is becoming. But hey, Kirby Smart's been paid, and the Georgia know Georgia kids will know. You come here, you've got that coach, you've got that NIL deal, you've got that path to the NFL. Georgia's handled. They're one of the halves. Alabama's one of the halves. All the halves getting together right now. It's called the Southeast Conference. Soon it'll be called what the uh, the 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 might still be the, the Southeast Conference. Conference. That's yeah. what they'll call it. Yeah, it'll still be the Southeast Conference. Still be the Big Ten. We we need we need two more we need two more super leagues. That's it. We need two more. You got two at sixteen. Give me two more with sixteen. And then suddenly you got yourself four super leagues that will run their own championships and whoever comes out of it, that's a four team playoff. Right? Well, sixteen. You could have the top four in each each conference. Play it out? Yeah. Or they just run their own conference, run their own championship. Oh, then the winner. In the same way the the AFC runs its own championship and the NFC runs its own championship and the two meet in something called the Super Bowl. Sure, that works. So you got four Super Leagues come up with four of their champions and off they go. And if you're not in it, and if you're not in the, and if you're not in those four leagues, what's the, uh, one of the many phrases I heard in camp, tough noogies. (laughs) Tough noogies. (laughs) That's from my Camp Locanda days.